Good evening and welcome to another Come Fly With Us virtually um, event, the deliberations of the fantastic Spirit of Aviation competition. An initiative set up by Airability to challenge those of any age to build, design and upload an aircraft which they have made using items that they have had round the house. Now I'm going to now introduce our judges, of which we have one. Um, so please welcome the CEO of Airability, Mike Miller-Smith. How are you doing, Mike? Thanks, Harvey. Thanks, Harvey. Uh, thanks for uh, hosting us today, and thank you for inviting me along. No problem at all. So, the Spirit of Aviation Challenge. I mean, again, so simple, yet so brilliant. Um, how, how did the challenge come about? Well, uh, when we uh, started the uh, the lockdown period, we quickly tried to think of ways that we could have some fun and engage with people that were interested in flying, people with disabilities or otherwise, uh, just to, to do something that could keep everyone entertained when they're at home. So we came up with this competition where build a, an aeroplane or a model using materials at home, uh, use your innovation, creativity, hopefully it'll fly well, uh, good design, good artwork and fun factor. And uh, yeah, the prize is amazing. The chance to fly with uh, the leader of the Red Arrow is a, in an aerobility airplane with squadron leader Martin Pert. So that's a pretty cool thing to win as well. It's cool. Not every day you get to go flying with a Red Arrow. And probably quite a novelty going flying with them in a light aircraft as well. I imagine that it would be a bit more of a relaxed experience where you can have a chat and get to know them a bit better. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, absolutely. So... So, as, as you said, the judging criteria for this competition is very simple. Judging on creativity, artwork, flying ability, and, of course, the all-important fun factor. And the submissions have come in from far and wide, a really diverse approach to the uh, challenge. I tried to have the idea of a cold air balloon, but it didn't really take off. So, um, also judging alongside you is squadron leader Martin Pert, and also the um, inspirational pilot Jessica Cox, who have both previously uh, really supported us well through the COVID-19 challenges by offering their time uh, for the Spirit of Aviation Challenge, but also in survivability, uh, talking about their stories. It's been great to have their support. Um, Mike, have you had a chance to have a look through the submissions yet? I have actually, yeah. It's been really great fun to see all the amazing ideas that people come up with, the ingenuity, the things they found at home, but ultimately built some really cool flying machines. So we had two categories, didn't we, Harvey? So the, the under-16s, the young persons category, and the over-16s, the grown-ups category. But I have to say the quality of the entries in both groups has been really good. It has. It's been impossible to tell between between either of them and such as I said a wide range of ideas so some successes some failures um but some really wacky stuff and thinking outside the box it's been brilliant to um see them all coming in and seeing what people have lying around the house. I mean, there's been some weird things. We had a um, hawk made out of balloons. Um, so, fantastic. Ha have you come up with your top three? 
Well, do you know what? I've come up with three or four in each of the categories. Yeah. Um, obviously, before we get to uh, everybody's results, yeah, just to pick out some of my favourites. So in the under-16 category, I thought that Nathan did a great job with his model. It flew right down the length of the garden. It flew really well. So that was really good from a flying uh, ability perspective. I thought that Ryan did a great job with a great design, great artwork, excellent stealth capability, lots of camouflage, and it really flew well. Nice stable flight characteristics. I thought Sarah did a great job with the uh, the dog-powered airplane, but I think the thrust-to-weight ratio might be an issue, but great fun from Fun Factor and creativity. And I thought Jake's entry, which flew really well, was really creative, and it fills the old adage... If an airplane looks right, it probably flies right as well. So I thought Jake did a great job. So those are my favourites in the under-16s. Cool. Um, we also have the over-16s. So they didn't get away with it. They were challenged too. Um, what were your thoughts? Yeah, again, a really good cross-section. Um, not all of them were flying models, I have to say. So not all of them proved they could fly, but I thought Liz, uh, part of the Airbility team, did a great job with her unusual staggered canard design. Uh, didn't fly very well on the first flight, but subsequent flights were much better. So that proves if you don't see first time, keep giving it a go. So I thought it was like, creative. I think, as, as we say, Liz, from the Airability team, we need a banner across the bottom saying this is not a fix. Everything was judged impartially. Absolutely. We were ruthlessly uh, yeah. uh, in all the judging, to be honest. I thought Nathan Deutsch did a great job. So that was a great collaboration between his design and uh, getting his carer to help build it with him. So there was lots of, uh, it was an iterative design, you could say. So it kept tweaking it and, and changing it. And eventually I thought that flew really well. And the video, the quality of the video, telling the story of the development of the aeroplane was, uh, was great fun. So that was really good. Lots of effort there. I thought Sally did a great job with the balloon red arrow. As you uh, mentioned earlier, that was just brilliant. The effort and the size of that model, mm -hmm. um, using balloons to make a, a really great model of the hawk, of course. And I thought Victoria's model was beautifully painted, beautifully decorated. I thought it was uh, great to see a multi-engine aeroplane. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I thought the creativity on the artwork on that one was great as well. So, yeah, just some of the favourites in that group as well. It is. And I think I like how you're judging across the category. So I think... Um, good points in anything you do. I, I too really enjoyed watching Nathan's video and seeing in depth the uh, development of that aircraft. I mean, by the end, I was invested in it, uh, flying for miles. A great dance tune in the background as well. Yes, yeah, of course. Cool. And uh, we'll catch up with uh, Jess and Martin Pert uh, when we can to see their favourites as well. Um, because I think it, it, we we still need to deliberate them. Um, but I think such a good bunch of designs and it's great to see everyone getting involved and uh, doing a bit to... Uh, raise the awareness of the charity, but also keep themselves happy and healthy at the same time. Absolutely, Harvey. I think, uh, yeah, it's great to see everyone using their ingenuity, using their brains, using their capabilities to make these amazing aeroplanes. And, yeah, looking forward to getting input from uh, Martin Purr and Jessica Cox. Let's hear about their favourites, and then we can announce the, uh, the winner in each category. So, uh, yeah, we look forward to doing that very soon. Jessica's been busy flying around the USA, um, doing an amazing tour celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. So she's been super busy. And Purty, of course, has been flying with the Reds. Recently got their PDA, their Public Display Authority again. So they've been busy flying. So the guys have been super busy. 
So uh, we'll catch up with them in the next day or two, get their input, and uh, yeah, we can announce the winners. Excellent. Well, for now, Mark, we've uh, heard your favourites, and I would have to agree on them all. But thank you very much for your time this evening. And as you say, to catch up with the other team. But for now, goodbye. Thanks, Harvey. Cheers, Mike.